I'd like to call the Monday, October 2, 2023, Oakwood City Council meeting to order. Would you please rise and join me with a pledge to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I have a roll call, please, Lori? Mayor Duncan? Here. Vice Mayor Byington? Here. Mr. Stevens? Here. Mrs. Hilton? Here. Mrs. Turbin? Here. Thank you. And uh, may I have a report of our September 18 regular session, work session, and executive session? Council Member Hilton? Yes, thank you, Mayor Duncan. I have reviewed the minutes from all three of those meetings, and I found them to be correct and complete, and therefore I move that they be approved as written. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. So ordered. Um, under status reports, I have one status report. Uh, we have an update on our uh, property tax renewal levy this uh, November. The 3.75 mil levy, uh, renewal levy, will not be on our November 7th ballot as originally planned. The city took all the proper actions to place the renewal levy on the ballot. But as a result of a clerical error, the final paperwork was sent to the Montgomery County Auditor rather than the Montgomery County Board of Elections. The city will place this tax levy on the ballot in 2024 and plans to keep the total amount generated by the levy the same as the expiring levy. In other words, the 2024 levy would cost the Oakwood taxpayers the same amount as the current levy. The money generated by this levy helps pay for essential uh, public services, including police and fire and emergency medical response, street and alley maintenance, and public parks. Thank you for the opportunity to give you that update. Um, we have no more visitor or, uh, status reports tonight, and so it's time for the visitors section, and we have no visitors, so we will go to legislation, and we have no legislation. So I will then uh, ask the city manager if he has anything to report to our citizens. Just two uh, quick items, Your Honor. Um, the uh, electricity aggregation program, um, we, we're seeing a, quite a number of Oakwood residents sign up for it. I did it myself um, last Saturday. I've not received the confirmation email, but I understand that um, those are getting sent back in, in within a few days of, of folks registering. So it's a very, very simple process. It's an individual choice um, to, whether to sign up for this or not. And as our law director has explained a couple of different times, um, folks can go to the Apples to Apples website and pick a different contract if they'd like to. Uh, maybe it fits their, their own personal needs better. Or they can sign up for this ag aggregation program. Or they can stick with the standard offer um, through AES. So I um, have really three choices there. But uh, just from my personal experience, it was a very easy process. Um, and secondly, construction updates, just things are moving along. Um, we, we poured the last concrete uh, last week uh, in the Oak Knoll Platte for the sidewalk curb and apron project, southwest corner of town. And uh, work is continuing on the storm sewer project. And we'll uh, very soon now, probably maybe this week, uh, see curb replacement work beginning on Far Hills Avenue. Um, between roughly Patterson and the, the Southern Corp line. I think our uh, public works director spoke about that two weeks ago. So that's all I have. All right. Any uh, questions for our city manager? All right. Uh, hearing none, this would be the time for council comments. Council Member Turbin. Thank you, Council Member Hilton. Uh, thank you, Mayor Duncan. I just wanted to remind people about the Fall Festival, which is uh, October 8th from 2 to 5. And there are you know, lots, lots of fun things. Uh, children in costumes, 
some adults and uh, snacks and just very, very nice event. In Scarecrow Row. And, oh, in Scarecrow Row, thank you. All right, very good. Um, and then uh, Council Member Stevens. Uh, no comments this evening, Mayor Duncan. Thank you, Vice Mayor Byington. I uh, just wanted to remind folks that this, uh, no, actually not this weekend, next weekend uh, is October 14th is the Styrofoam Recycling Event uh, at our Recycling Center. Uh, I encourage folks who, like myself, have been storing up uh, Amazon uh, Styrofoam parts uh, to uh, make it out there. I cannot remember the exact times, but I would encourage folks to check our website. It will be listed on there. Uh, and then also to thank our Oakwood staff for the uh, Shred event, which was this last weekend. Um, usually I go out to that, and I missed it this year. Um, don't have as much stuff as I used to, um, but uh, I know that that's well attended. So, Yes, um, is that all? Yep. Yeah, I also went to that Shred event, and I got there about 9 in the morning, and there had already been 78 cars there ahead of me. Hmm. Uh, it went very smooth. Uh, you just drove in, you sat in your car, and in my case, they took five giant garbage bags full of stuff to shred, and I was home in about 10 minutes. So it was, it was a really nice event. We appreciate the city staff mm -hmm. you know, working on Saturdays to do that for everybody. Uh, I have no additional comments, so our next regularly scheduled meeting is going to be uh, on Monday, November 6, 2023, the day before Election Day. We are adjourned.